For the first time in 45 years, little children will not be filing into nursery school in Carthage. The Carthage Nursery School is closing its doors with the retirement of the teacher who founded the school in the 1960s. But yesterday, the former students of Mrs. Jean Haverstock gathered for one last time. This is who you'd expect to see in the play area at the Carthage Nursery School. But on Saturday, the average age and the average height was a little higher than normal in the United Methodist Church basement classroom. 1,400 former nursery school students invited back to wish Mrs. Jean Haverstock a happy retirement, much to her delight. Can you imagine how exciting it is to see what these children have done with their lives and where they are and what they're doing? In a short program Saturday, Mrs. Haverstock listed some of her alumni, colonels, professors, engineers, architects, journalists, and even at least one husband and wife who met in nursery school, but didn't really know it. I don't know how it came up, but uh, nursery school. And uh, so sure enough, we went to the same nursery school. After nursery school, they parted ways, Jessica and John going to different schools. But their paths crossed again at age 28. It was love, separated by the Beaver River Carthage line, which according to John, might have been a good thing. People change a lot, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I was probably a little bit too immature when I was in nursery school, I would say, and maybe even a little bit later after that. So, Looking back, hearing stories like John and Jessica's, the question for Mrs. Haverstock after teaching 1,400 little people, the obvious question is what did she learn? I think I learned best that if you look at each child as a, as a person, then you'll never forget them, and you can learn from them as much as they can learn from you. And today when I saw these children or when I went over their names as I looked over the summary of the list, as soon as I saw their name, I remembered the child. And I remembered who they were. And that's because I always thought of them as people. Mrs. Haverstock says she's going to miss teaching nursery school, but her students are still with her every time she sees one out in the community, all grown up. And with 1,400 students, she never knows when she might just see one, even just watching the weekend news.